tricuspid valve has often been called the forgotten valve. There's an excess mortality in people with severe tricuspid regurgitation. The tricuspid valve, it's very challenging. It has multiple leaflets. It has a lot of dense cording that attach the leaflets to the ventricular wall and is oftentimes very difficult to visualize the leaflets. Tricuspid valve repair in isolation at the time of surgery is very risky, and most patients don't want to accept the risk of that surgery. And so they're just left with diuretics and a poor quality of life. Tricuspid regurgitation is an extremely common condition. It is hardly ever treated, and it's, it's certainly overdue. Edwards has a decades-long history of innovation, coupled with a willingness to fail and then to push forward and develop new therapies has taken us to where we are today. Edwards is passionate about being a leader in innovation on the tricuspid space. We have the clinical learnings that we've gained through all our clinical trials to be able to tailor the procedure and tailor the strategy for that patient to offer them the most effective solution possible for them. Now there is a really big opportunity to help these patients with what we've learned from the previous years, from our experience with other heart valves, how we treat them without surgery, I think we finally are at a stage where we can target that more difficult valve. The Pascal device has some very specific features which makes it very appealing to be applied on the tricuspid side. It's very compliant, it is very soft to the leaflets. The risk of, of causing any injuries to these leaflets is probably very low. It is important to realize that these leaflets, they're quite fragile and they're, they're paper thin, they're almost see-through. So it's, it's, it's quite a delicate structure and it's important to have a technology which um, is extremely safe. The groundbreaking feature of the Pascal device when used on a tricuspid side is the ability to grasp one leaflet after the other. And this allows us to, to bridge larger gaps which are very commonly seen um, on a tricuspid side. We're using Pascal and the Pascal A system simultaneously. I think that the learning curve situation for uses of different leaflet therapies will be easier actually with the A system because it is still keeping the keyless situation with a high flexibility to reach almost every point. A maneuverability and the small shape of this device allows for even easier control of the leaflet adaption. The device has the same material, which is nitinol, giving it a high flexibility, a smaller profile, and also the capability of independent clasping and support of the leaflets that is similar to the Pascal device. It is um, tremendously satisfying treating patients with tricuspid regurgitation, they report almost always a tremendous improvement in symptoms. And um, when you see that and when you hear that and when you see these patients coming back and report that they're doing better, that's, that's, that's what makes it worthwhile to, to work hard and, and try the best to find for these patients. I'm extremely excited. It's what you wake up in the morning for, is to be able to do new things that help patients and, and do it in a minimally invasive way.